And today we're going to cook something really delicious. It's another in the fridge um, photo sent in by Debbie Martin, who we've not heard from since the Erin Simpson show days. And she's back and she is alive. And we appreciate your feedback. So thank you for sending us in your photo. And though your fridge looks very bare and empty, we are still going to use it as inspiration. I can see uh, three, four bags of fruit there. You've got some apples. I think that's nashi pears and peaches. So while peaches are in season and nashi pears are just coming in, more on that later, um, I'm going to show you guys how to make some poached peaches. It's kind of like canned peaches that you kind of get in bulk at school camps, but better and fresher. And just like that, um, those cans, you can keep it for a while, surprisingly. Firstly, we need to um, make the poaching liquid, which sounds fancy, but essentially it's just water, a little bit of sugar. So get that in there. <clears throat> and our aromatics. So have a look in there. I've got some lemon peel. Beautiful brightness to counteract that sugar. A cinnamon stick. Now these I don't really often cook with, but that's star anise, and it's absolutely delicious. It's got a beautiful, um, like a licorice flavor to it and cardamoms. Cardamoms, small little green pods used a lot in Indian cooking. And it's got this, this smell, you just, nothing like anything else you can really buy. So um, all of that in there. And I'm gonna break up the cinnamon stick. You're increasing surface area to water, which means more flavor. Yeah, science. Anyway, ideally what you wanna do is let the simmer for about 10, 15 minutes. Just let the sugar dissolve, let that reduction simmer, let the flavor start to come together. But we're a little bit short of time, so I'm going to put in the peaches now. I've just peeled them, and I'm going to pop those in, and then turn the heat off. So this is a trick, you don't want to cook the peaches in too much, you just want to put them in while it's hot, so it takes in a lot of those flavours, and then you want to cover it, after putting a bit of vanilla extract in, about three quarters of a teaspoon, and let that sit, let that cool down, and in about Overnight, it will taste delicious because all the flavors have infused. You can bottle that and jar it and that will keep for about six months if you do it properly. And anyway, here's some I made um, yesterday actually. I let the flavors infuse and I've got some muesli here. So I'm going to put some of the sliced infused poached peaches into that bowl of muesli. A little bit of that syrup. Don't throw that away. That is just delicious. Heaps of flavor. A dollop of yogurt or yogurt, however you want to say it. And there we go, that is the poached peaches. It's so versatile, you can have in your cereal, muesli, as is, with a yogurt, with ice cream, with custard, whatever you like. Recipe online at facebook.com forward slash Mike Spites. Thank you, Debbie. We're gonna send you out something, cause I like you, and I'm gonna hear from you in a while. So it's like a nice to talk to you again present. Please, hurry up and subscribe. Click, click the subscribe button. No, oh, Eva, you've been pushing. No. Why is it so big? Oh, keep pushing. Just click subscribe. Otherwise, we're going to be here the whole time. Oh, listen. Oh.